Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Game Make tutorial by Rex Furry. Let's start by getting this out of the way. Alright, so um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make money in Game Maker. Um, this is actually really simple. Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials actually that make it like, I don't know, they just make it really kind of complicated and seem like a really hard thing to do. But really, it's, it's not really that hard to do. Uh, it just takes a little bit of coding and... Um, let's see, for this tutorial, I'm only going to make two objects and using one sprite. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess it's kind of like a game maker, money made simple. Um, yeah, so everyone likes simple, right? So, uh, anyway, let's get started with the tutorial instead of me babbling on. All right, so, um, the first thing that we're going to do is create one sprite. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and name this SPR underscore, and, uh, let's just name it coin, Okay. So this is the only sprite that you're going to be using, uh, well, going to be need, or needing, rather, sorry. I don't know what was wrong with that. Anyway, um, so we're just going to need one sprite to uh, to make this work, okay? And that sprite's going to be called SPR underscore coin, okay? And now we're going to go edit the sprite, and create a new sprite, and we're going to do the uh, width uh, 16. You can keep it 32 by 32 if you want, but I'm just going to do 16 by 16. All right, and hit OK. All right, double-click on that image. Uh, zoom in a little bit, and I'm just going to make a quick circle here. All right, that's not what I wanted. All right, there we go. And I'm going to change this to yellow. All right, so I have a black border with a yellow inside. Okay, there we go. And hit the uh, green check mark twice, show preview. Yeah, it looks pretty good in my case, I guess. If I was really trying to make something good, though, I mean, like, yeah, anyway, this is just a tutorial, so I'm not going to go ahead and get a whole detailed coin there. But uh, that's okay for now. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object. And I'm just going to name this OBJ underscore coin. All right, and obviously I'm going to choose the coin sprite. And all I'm going to do is hit okay for now. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create another object. I was going to say add sprite for some reason. I have no idea why. All right, but anyway, uh, I'm going to create another object. I'm going to name this OBJ. Um, that wasn't right. Okay, OBJ underscore money. All right, and make sure you put the EY just, I don't know, for detail. Well, you know, just so you know that, yeah, anyway, whatever. Um, so uh, for this, we're not going to choose a uh, sprite. This is just basically uh, like a controller. Um, if you don't know what a controller is and you're just, like, new to Game Maker, uh, you will definitely probably figure it out down the road. But uh, for now, I'm not going to go into that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go add event and create, okay? And um, to save you guys time, um, I already wrote the codes out. So let me just grab this code here. All right, and go to the uh, control tab over here and drag and drop the execute code action. All right, and I'm going to paste that code. But this code will be in the description box, don't worry. So uh, hopefully if uh, YouTube lets me paste it there. I've had some trouble with uh, pasting codes before. But uh, yeah, anyway, in YouTube description box. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, the code, just in case I can't paste it in the description box, is global.money equals 5. All right, with this, um, um, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I completely forgot what it is. It's um, the dot with like a little, like a little comma below it. All right, so uh, yeah, global dot money equals five with that thingy. All right, so uh, you're just gonna hit the green check, uh, check box, uh, check mark, check mark. All right, and then we're just going to go add event, and now we're gonna go draw. Okay, so we have a create event and a draw event, and we're just gonna click and drag the uh, execute code over. All right, and actually. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Okay, well I'm going to get this. Whoa, get this code really quick so you guys don't have to waste time watching me write it all out. All right, and there we go. Okay, so in this um, draw event, we're gonna click and drag over the execute code action, and in that we're gonna type out um, or copy and paste in the description box. Hopefully, I can paste it in here because I would really hate to have you guys just try to squint at the screen and watch how or what this is or whatever all uh, right so um anyway um the code is draw underscore text parenthesis view underscore x view all right plus 80 comma 
view underscore y view plus 10 comma and in quotation marks is the money sign all right and then plus string uh comma or not comma excuse me um parenthesis global dot money parenthesis parenthesis and that thing with the um with the dot on top and the comma on the bottom. I still forgot what that was called. But, um, yeah. Um, colon? Okay, I, yeah, never mind. I, I forgot. Anyway, okay, so, uh, yeah, that's the whole code. Um, basically, it's setting the X and Y coordinates of where the, um, where the money is going to be placed. Like, where, um, kind of like where it's going to be showing in your game. All right, so, uh, yep, that's it for that. We're just going to hit the green check mark. All right. And so now we should have a create event with an execute code, and there's our code, global.money5 and stuff. All right, and a draw event with this huge code. All right, so that's all we should have. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a room. All right, and we're going to put, um, turn off that grid. Okay, we're going to put a couple coins in here. All right, I guess that's a little more than a couple, but anyway, we're going to put the OBJ money in here. All right, and, um, Real, really quick, um, go back into OBJ money. Okay, let's say that um, you're making like a gigantic platform or gigantic RPG world game or whatever. Um, you would want to have your OBJ money persistent, all right? Because if you're switching to a whole bunch of different rooms in your game, um, and then your uh, your OBJ money like carries over there, it's not really going to keep the same score as it was because it's not persistent. It's switching into a whole different room, and so Game Maker thinks it's just like creating the whole thing again all right so um you want to check it persistent if you're switching between rooms and stuff and it says below there whether the object is persistent between rooms okay but um actually yeah i guess i'll just keep it persistent you don't have to though if you're just going to keep it in like one little little room all right there we go and we're going to go to our coin object this is the last thing we're going to go add event mouse and we're going to go uh left pressed all right and we are going to go to the control tab and we're going to click and check over a set variable. And in that variable is going to be a um, global, there we go, dot money, and, okay, dot money, and let's see, I guess we'll give us only one point, okay? Equals one, and make sure to check it relative, okay? So this is saying um, when you left press on the coin, it's going to give you, like, one point or whatever, or one money, whatever, all right? So hit OK. And now we're going to go to the main one tab and click and drag over to destroy instance, actually above the set variable, and we're just going to keep it self and hit OK. All right, so hit OK. And uh, then you can run your game, and when you click on each coin, um, it will give you points. But, um, you know, actually, okay, I, I'll just run the game and show you guys really quick. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. I have to switch to a different angle. Okay, and I told you guys why in the last video I switched between angles when I show you guys the uh, finished product or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second here. Hey, guys, how's it going? Let's get this out of the way. All right, this is Rex Furry, and of course you guys already knew that, but I just wanted to say it anyway. Okay, but we're back. Um, this is our game, and if you followed the uh, tutorial correctly, this is what you should have. And I guess this really isn't a game. It's just kind of an example or kind of test thingy, I don't know, but anyway, um, this is what should happen, and uh, so we see right here in the uh, in the top left corner over here, our, uh, our score, kind of money score kind of thing here, so uh, we have the little money sign, and then we have our, uh, how much money that we start out with, okay, and um, you can remember that uh, when we did that global money equals five or whatever, that is how much money we are starting off with, so if you want to have like zero, you want to start off with like zero money or whatever, you could go back and change that to zero, okay? So um, now I'm going to go ahead and click on a coin here and watch up here um, our little score thing. Um, watch what happens when I click on a coin, all right? All right, and there you go. It changed to six, um, so it went up one, as you can see. Um, and if you wanted it to, like, change, like, from five to ten or whatever, like, uh, if you wanted uh, however many, like, coins you click on or whatever, like, let's say... We wanted to be able to click on the coin and get like ten bucks. You would just go back in to our to our game there, and where we put the global dot money equals whatever variable thing, um, you could change that to like five or whatever. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and collect all these coins here. 
because who would just leave them lying around, right? All right, so there we go. I've collected all the coins. I have a total amount of $13, and um, yeah, I guess I can go to Dollar Tree or something and get a lot of candy. No, I'm just kidding. I, uh, yeah, anyway. So, uh, yeah, this has been Rex Furry with another game tutorial, and uh, sorry, I seem kind of tired in this video, because actually, to tell you guys the truth, I am kind of tired. Um, but I just thought, you know, I haven't really done a tutorial in a while. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would do a quick tutorial here. And, uh, yeah, feel free to request more tutorials, and uh, feel free to subscribe, too, if you want to. Uh, my subscribers have actually been growing recently, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. So thank you guys very much. And, uh, yeah, more tutorials on the way. So next time, I guess, um, see ya.